You got Tyson Fury, 23 and 0, 17 KOs. He's going to be fighting on February the 28th, um, 2015 in the O2 Arena. Um, he defeated Derek Chisora left-handed, for Christ's sakes. Give the man some credit. Six foot nine, two hundred and fifty, two hundred and seventy pounds on a bad day. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live, and I cover boxing. So Tyson Fury is in what I call an unofficial um, heavyweight tournament. So you got Steve Cunningham, who Tyson Fury defeated, taking on Vojtislav um, Glaskov in March, March fourteenth, for the number one contender for Vladimir Klitschko's IBF title. You got Luis Ortiz, who defeated Latif Kiyote, but Luis Ortiz was juicing. That was for the number one contender for Vladimir Klitschko's WBA title. You got Tyson Fury, who's the number one contender for the WBO title. But you got Vladimir Klitschko, who's close to finalizing a deal with the WBC number one contender, um, Brian Jennings. And basically, Vladimir Klitschko wants to capture that, th that WBC title, which Deontay Wilder or Bermain Stavern will have. So it looks like... How can I put it? It looks like we won't be seeing Tyson Fury versus Vladimir Klitschko probably anytime soon or maybe even ever. But it's crazy because he's going to have to get a title shot eventually. But the way the landscape is looking is that he's not going to get a title shot to at least maybe early 2016 at best, maybe mid 2016. So in the meantime, he's got to keep busy and he's got to fight guys with notable names. He fought Derek Chisora in, in, in November. Right now, it's December the 23rd, 2014. And he's fighting again in February. He wants to be a notable name. I personally, I want him to fight Alexander Ustinov. You know, I remember saying that. I wouldn't mind seeing him against Kubrat Pulev. You know, there are some big fights out there for him, but since he can't get a title shot or Klitschko at this point in time, He's got to start fighting bigger fights. So Americans, because he's a good fighter, he would be a good fight for American fans. And also fans in general need to start knowing who he is. Basically because you can say Deontay Wilder's name over in Russia and over in the UK, people will know who he is. But you can't say Tyson Fury and many will know who he is over here. You get where I'm going? So what I'm saying is I guess he's got to go on to fight Carlos Takam. You know, even though he's coming off a loss, that would be a good fight to see. Well, where does Tyson Fury stand? You know, because his biggest competition right now has been um, Derek Chisora and uh, Steve Cunningham. So he really needs to fight, as he said in recent interviews, that he wants to fight a good name. You know, and I hope it just comes to fruition. We've been hearing about Anthony Joshua. It's not happening. Don't even mention David Price, you know. I just don't see those fights happening because, well, David Price is not ready. He's still on his rebuilding path. And let's just leave Anthony Joshua alone. But I'm T-Street Controversy. This is T-Street Controversy Live. I cover every single major fight live. Boxing news, reviews, interviews, whatever boxing related. I got it. So basically, I gather all the information and just put it all together in just a short, complex video for you. T-Street Controversy. T-Street Controversy Live.